If you're building a Ryzen 9000 PC and don't want to pay x870 prices, the B850 chipset is the sweet spot. The question is, which B850 motherboard should you actually buy? Here's the short answer. If you're going small form factor, go with the Asus ROG Strix B850i. For micro ATX, the Asus TUF B850M Plus Wi-Fi is a great balance. If you're on a tighter budget, the AS ROG B850 Live Mixer Wi-Fi 7 gives you the most for the money. On the premium side, the Asus ROG Strix B850E Gaming Wi-Fi has nearly everything you'd find on an X870. And for most people overall, I'd recommend the MSI Mag B850 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. Now, let me show you why these five boards stand out, and which one is best for your build. Links to all boards mentioned are available in the description. Starting with the best mini ITX B850 motherboard, we have the Asus ROG Strix B850i. If you're going compact but still want premium features, this is one of the strongest B850 boards. In terms of features, it supports up to 8400 plus megatransfers per second overclocked, has a reinforced PCIe 5.0 by 16 slot for full-sized GPUs, and offers dual PCIe Gen 5 M2 slots, an addition most mini ITX boards lack. Connectivity also doesn't leave any areas, with Wi-Fi 7, Intel 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, and a solid rear I.O. selection, with USB 20 gigabits per second Type-C, one front USB-C header, and five USB 10 gigabits per second ports. Under the hood, the Strix runs a 10 plus 2 plus 1 power stage design rated for up to 90 amps per stage with efficient heat sinks that give it the stability to handle even high-end chips like the Ryzen 9 9950X or the gaming powerhouse 9800X3D. You also get a host of Asus-specific features like AI overclocking, Asus's ROG Hive module, Q-release, BIOS flashback, clear CMOS, flex key, a pre-mounted I.O. shield, and a design that blends seamlessly into stealthy builds. With so much to offer, it's safe to say the Asus ROG Strix B850i is your ultimate choice if you want a future-proof build with all the next-gen features and AI-enhanced utilities. However, if your budget holds you back, you can also check out the ASRock B850i Lightning Wi-Fi 6E, which offers a solid, cost-effective option with dependable performance and standard overclocking support, though it lacks premium connectivity options like Wi-Fi 7 and USB 4. A more middle ground option worth considering is the Gigabyte Aorus Pro with PCIe 5.0 M2 support, Wi-Fi 7, and USB-C, but the trade-off here is a much lighter power design at 8 plus two plus one. Only go for this if you have no overclocking plans and are willing to swap that for more next-gen features. To sum up, what I like is the dual PCIe Gen 5 M2 slots, the addition of Asus-specific features, and high-speed DDR5 support. On the downside, limited expansion slots due to the ITX form factor. Next, the best micro ATX B850 motherboard is the Asus Tough Gaming B850M Plus Wi-Fi. If you want the space-saving benefits of a smaller case, but still value multiple PCIe slots, four DIMM slots, and room for future upgrades, a mini ITX board probably won't meet your needs. That's where micro ATX boards come in. And for me, the Asus Tough Gaming B850M Plus Wi-Fi nails the balance between compact size and expansion. You can run full-length graphics cards in the primary PCIe 5.0 slot and still have room for an additional PCIe 3.0 by 1 card for extra networking or a capture card. You also get solid storage flexibility with a Gen 5 M2 slot, two Gen 4 M2 slots for all your video games, and four SATA ports for bulk hard drives. Networking is covered with Wi-Fi 7 and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, and while the VRM setup 14 plus 2 plus 1 isn't meant for record-breaking overclocks, it's more than capable of keeping Ryzen 9000 chips stable under real-world workloads. For longevity, the tough design language brings reinforced PCIe slots and durable PCB components, ensuring your motherboard lasts through multiple GPU upgrades. When it comes to alternatives, we have boards like the Asus Prime B850 
the MA Wi-Fi CSM, which, while positioned as a budget-friendly option, still packs features like Wi-Fi 6E, USB-C, and DDR5 support up to 8000 plus megatransfers per second overclocked. It's best for everyday systems where premium extras or a high-end power setup aren't necessary. You could also consider the Gigabyte B850M RS Elite Wi-Fi i6E ICE, which offers an advanced 12 plus 2 plus 2 digital VRM design, AI overclocking tools like X3D Turbo, and dual M2 slots. This makes it a great fit for enthusiasts who want AI-driven tuning, efficient thermals, and strong overclocking potential. That said, where budget boards like the Prime fall short in power delivery, and enthusiast-focused options like the Aorus Elite trade practicality for niche tuning features, the tough B850M Plus stands out by bringing together all the core features expected in this form factor, such as PCIe 5.0, Gen 5 storage, Wi-Fi 7, and a reliable VRM setup. It does this without cutting corners on durability or expansion while still leaving plenty of room for upgrades. To sum up, what I like is the compact size and PCIe slots balance, flexible storage with Gen 5, Gen 4, and SATA options, and the reinforced durability for long-term use. On the downside, only one Gen 5 M2 slot. Moving on, my choice for the best budget B850 board is the ASRock B850 Live Mixer Wi-Fi 7. When it comes to budget motherboards, tough trade-offs are usually part of the deal. Fortunately, the ASRock B850 Live Mixer Wi-Fi 7, despite its low price, delivers a feature-packed board without stripping away the essentials. True to its name, it's designed with streamers, gamers, and casual creators in mind, offering tools and connectivity to handle multiple peripherals at once. It offers a total of 23 USB ports, meaning you can connect multiple peripherals, such as soundboards and capture devices, without running out of slots. The specifications are equally impressive for the price point. You get PCIe 5.0 by 16 for the latest GPUs, a PCIe Gen 5 M2 slot, two Gen 4 M2 slots, and DDR5 support up to 8000 megatransfers per second overclocked across four DIMM slots, offering plenty of upgrade headroom for the future. The 14 plus 2 plus 1 power phase VRM design is a bit of a compromise, especially for overclocking enthusiasts, but it's more than capable of running any modern CPU at stock speeds with rock-solid stability. On top of that, the board comes with ASRock's upgraded 20k black capacitors, rated for up to 20,000 hours, which deliver consistent power, improve reliability, and ensure stable long-term performance. A good alternative to the live mixer is ASRock's own B850 Pro RS Wi-Fi. On paper, it's close in specs, but there are a few differences worth noting. The Pro RS trades the live mixer's massive USB connectivity and 20k long-lasting black caps for more storage flexibility, offering 4 M2 slots and 4 SATA ports compared to the live mixer's 3 M2 and 2 SATA. On the flip side, the live mixer adds gamer-specific features like ASRock's lightning gaming ports for reduced input lag. Ultimately, the choice comes down to your build's priorities. If you want maximum internal storage capacity, the Pro RS has the edge. But for a budget-friendly streaming or content creation setup, the ASRock B850 Live Mixer Wi-Fi 7 is easy to work with and packed with enough ports to skip a USB hub altogether. To sum up, what I like is the huge number of USB ports, the solid core features including PCIe Gen 5 GPU and M2 support, and the distinctive design that stands out from plain budget boards. On the downside, fewer storage slots compared to alternatives in its price range, and entry-level VRM setup. Next, if you're looking for a premium B850 motherboard, my suggestion is the Asus ROG Strix B850 e Gaming Wi-Fi. For users who want the most feature-rich B850 motherboard without jumping to an X870, the Asus ROG Strix B850 e Gaming Wi-Fi is the one to choose. It offers much of what you'd find from Asus's higher-end offerings, including a robust 16 plus 2 plus 2 power stage design that can easily handle Ryzen 9000 series CPUs under sustained loads, whether for high-end gaming or demanding productivity tasks. 
To add to that, the large finned heat sinks keep VRM temps in check even if you plan on doing some aggressive overclocking. Part of what makes the B850E stand out is its stacked connectivity. You get three PCIe Gen 5 M2 slots on board, two Gen 4 M2 slots, PCIe 5.0 by 16 GPU with Q-release Slim, Wi-Fi 7, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, and a robust rear I.O. featuring USB 4 Type-C, a USB 20 gigabits per second port, multiple USB 10 gigabits per second ports, and HDMI 2.1. Additionally, this board is also a strong pick for those who want crispy sound thanks to Asus's high-end audio via the Supreme FX codec. Now, there aren't that many worthy alternatives in the B850 Premium lineup to put up against the B850e, but one motherboard that does offer a good challenge is the Gigabyte B850 RS Elite Wi-Fi 7. Compared to the Asus board, the RS Elite swaps Wi-Fi 6e for Wi-Fi 7, but it steps back slightly in other areas. You only get three M2 slots instead of four, a 16 plus 2 plus 2 phase VRM with 80 amp stages instead of the more robust setup on the B850e, slower networking, and no USB 4 connectivity. But overall, both of these boards come pretty close to each other in terms of performance. Which one to choose between the two purely comes down to priorities. If Wi-Fi 7 and solid mid-range features matter most, then the Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 will match well. Conversely, if you want more M2 slots, faster wired networking, USB 4, and a stronger VRM for heavy overclocking or expansion-heavy builds, the the ROG Strix B850e gaming Wi-Fi is the best option. To sum up, what I like is the triple PCIe Gen 5 M2 slots, the strong VRM design, and the premium audio and high-speed connectivity. On the downside, it's expensive. Finally, my top all-around choice is the MSI Mag B850 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. If you're in the market for a B850 board that balances practicality, performance, and value, the MSI Mag B850 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi is a strong choice. It gives you access to the incredible speeds of the AM5 platform without the higher price tag of X870 models. For starters, it offers PCIe 5.0 connectivity for both the graphics card and storage devices, delivering fast read and write speeds along with full access to the 5.0 by 16 slot for pairing the latest gen GPUs. On the memory side, it's just as capable, supporting up to 256 gigabytes of RAM with speeds reaching 8,400 megatransfers per second. For most users, that capacity is overkill, as 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes is already plenty for gaming and work. But having the headroom for more can be useful for demanding workloads or future upgrades. Power delivery comes in the form of a 14 plus 2 plus 1 80 amp design, ensuring stable and clean power for your CPU you regardless of workload. For processors like the Ryzen 7 7800X3D or 9800X3D, this is an excellent B850 motherboard. While it does miss out on high-speed USB 4 connectivity, it makes up for it with features like Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, and a 5GB LAN port. If you're considering alternatives, the Asus Tough Gaming B850 Plus Wi-Fi is a great pick for those who want rugged durability, Asus's DIY-friendly toolkit, and premium extras, though it comes at a slightly higher cost. For those after bolder gamer aesthetics, the ASRock Phantom Gaming B850 Riptide Wi-Fi is worth a look. What makes the MSI Mag B850 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi stand out is that it strikes the best balance between value, performance, and reliability. Where Asus leans pricier and ASRock leans flashier, MSI offers the most well-rounded package, making it the top choice in the B850 lineup. To sum up, what I like are the incredible connectivity speeds in PCIe and networking, the clean and functional layout, and the stable VRM and cooling to handle high-end Ryzen CPUs with ease. On the downside, it lacks onboard RGB lighting, and it's missing premium extras like debug LEDs and USB 4 Thunderbolt. So what do you think? Which of these is the best B850 motherboard for you? Or do you think another motherboard is better? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and check more videos filled with suggestions and reviews. Have an awesome day.